Welcome to Virtual Preschool. I am so glad that you're here today. Let's start by singing I Like to Make Music with you, with our friend Miss Nancy. We'll watch her play the guitar and we'll make music with patting our knees and clapping our hands and making noises with our mouth. Will you sing with me? Here comes Miss Nancy with I Like to Make Music with you. This is I Like to Make Music from The Seasons. I like to make music, yes I do. I like to make music with you. I like to make music, yes I do. I like to make music with you. I can clap my hands, clap, clap, clap. I can clap my hands, clap, clap, clap. I like to make music, yes I do. I like to make music with you. I can pat my knees, pat, pat, pat. I can pat my knees, pat, pat, pat. And I can clap my hands, clap, clap, clap. I can clap my hands, clap, clap, clap. I like to make music, yes I do. I like to make music with you. I can, I can, and I can pat my knees. Pat, 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 I can pat my knees. Pat, 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 and I can clap my hands. Every day. Well, now that everyone is here, do you think we should wake up you know who who's hiding behind my easel? If I count to three, will you say, Betsy, where are you? And then she'll come out. Ready? One, two, three. Betsy, where are you? Come on out, Betsy. Hello, boys and girls. Good morning! I'm so glad that you're here today. While we are getting ready for our nursery rhymes, let's start by we'll sing hello to you and then you sing hello to us. Are you ready? Hello friends, how are you? Can you sing hello Betsy? Hello Betsy, how are you? And can you sing hello Miss Jamie? Hello, Miss Jamie, how are you? We're so glad to see you. Here, here, we're all here. Here, here, we're all here. Here, here, we're all here. We're all here together. Yay! Well, Betsy, all week we've been singing or saying these little silly nursery rhyme poems, right? Yes. They're not stories, they're short. We can remember them and memorize them, right? Well, today, our new nursery rhyme is about a clock and a mouse. Would you like to listen to that one? Okay, I'm gonna lay you down and then we'll see Betsy again at the end, okay? See you soon. So our new nursery rhyme is about a little mouse who likes to run up and down a big grandfather clock. Have you ever seen a big grandfather clock? It's almost like a big piece of furniture. 
and it has this pendulum hanging down that goes tick, tock, tick, tock. And then when the big hand gets to the 12, that means the time is o'clock, it goes boing, 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 just like that to tell what time it is. Well, here comes the poem about the little mouse who ran up the clock. I'll say it, and then we'll do it together, okay? It goes like this. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. And we could do it with two at two o'clock. Let's say it like that. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two, and down she flew. Hickory dickory dock. Yeah, can you say it with me? We'll start with one, and you say it too. Ready? It goes like this. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse went up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. It's easy, right? It's a short one. We could even make our hands go like this. Can you make your hands move like the pendulum on the big clock? Yes, let's do it like this. Hickory dickory dock. And can you make your fingers like a mouse? The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. Make it go like this. One, one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Will you try it with your hands? Get your hands to move like the pendulum on the grandfather clock. Are you ready? Here goes. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Good, that's how it works. It's a short little poem that we can just say like that. Well, boys and girls, this is what a clock looks like. It's the shape of a circle. Do you see that? And on the clock, there are different numbers. Can you help me count them? One, good counting. Two, I can hear you. Three, four, five, good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Every clock has 12 numbers. And this big hand goes around and around and around like that. It goes around two times, one time, and moves the hour. And then it, the hours go two times every day. So we can make it go like this and say, hickory dickory dock. The mouse went up. The clock. The clock struck one. That's the one o'clock. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Yes, just like that. Well, we're going to play a game where I'm going to ring the bell to show you what time it is. And then you can try to guess by counting how many times the bell rings. Ready? It goes like this. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse went up the clock. The clock struck, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. So how many times did the bell ring? Listen again and count them. One, yes, did you say one o'clock? Good, I'm gonna do it again. You have to count how many times the bell rings. Ready? Here goes, I'm gonna ring it. What time is it? How many times did the bell ring? One, two, two o'clock. Did you count them? Oh, you're doing a good job. All right, I'm gonna ring it again. Ready? Here goes. Did you count them? Here goes. One, two, three. Did you do it? Listen again. Yes, three o'clock.
o'clock. Oh, you're good at listening to the bells and counting. Okay, I'm going to ring the bell. You have to listen and count. Are you ready? Here goes. Did you count? One, two, three, four. Yes, that's what it would sound like if it was four o'clock. Oh, good job. Okay, I'm going to ring it again. Count how many times the bell rings, and that's how you'll know what time it is. Are you ready? Listen for the bell ringing. Here goes. bell rang five times. That means it's five o'clock dinner time. Okay, one last time. Listen and count how many times the bell rings and then we'll know what time it is. Here goes. Did you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, the bell rang six times. It's six o'clock. Oh, you're good at counting and telling time. I'm so proud of you. Well, boys and girls, in this, in this nursery rhyme, the words that rhyme are like this. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. Dock and clock rhyme because they have the same ending sound. Ock. Listen, dock, clock. Do you hear that? We're going to play with some other rhymes over here. Good counting, everybody. Here I have some cheese. Did you know that mice like to eat cheese? They do. And each piece of cheese has a picture on it. This one is a cat. Good. And this one is a dog. Good. This one is a sun. Mm -hmm. And this one is a fox. We have two more pictures. This one is a car. And the last one is a color. It's the color blue. We're going to try to figure out which mouse belongs with which piece of cheese because we're going to listen to the rhyme. So we're going to listen to the end of the word and see if it sounds the same. So the first mouse is holding a hat. Hat sounds like this. At, hat, at. Which picture rhymes with hat? Is it cat hat or fox hat? Which one rhymes with hat? Say them with me. Say cat hat or fox hat. Which one rhymes? Tell me really loud. Cat hat. You're right. Cat hat. That rhymes. Say it. Cat hat. Yes, that's a good rhyme. Here comes another one. For the next one, I have a star. The mouse is holding a star. Does the star rhyme with dog? Listen, dog star? Or does it rhyme with car? Listen, car star. Which one sounds the same at the end of the word? Is it dog star? or car star? Tell me. I can hear you. You said car star. That's right. They rhyme. They both have the R sound at the end of the word. Say it. Say car star. Good rhyming. Here comes another one. This one is a box. Yes, the mouse is holding a box. Let's listen and see what it rhymes with. Does it rhyme like this? Fox, box? Or does it rhyme like this? Dog, box. 
Listen to the end of the word. Listen. Fox, box, or dog, box? Tell me. Yes, I think I hear you saying it. You said fox, box. They both have the ox sound at the end. Say it with me. Say fox, box. That rhymes. Oh, you're good. We have three more. Here comes the next one. It's a frog. The mouse is holding a frog. Which one rhymes with frog? Is it dog, frog, or sun, frog? Which one rhymes with frog? Dog, frog, or sun, frog? Do you know? Which one has the og sound at the end? Tell me. Yes, it's dog. Dog, frog. You did it. Dog, frog. That rhymes. Here's another one. This one is glue. Say it. Say glue. Glue has that ooh sound at the end. Glue. We need to find a word that rhymes with glue and has the ooh sound at the end. Is it sun glue or blue glue? Do you hear the end? Listen again. Sun glue or blue glue? <gasps> Audrey knows it. Bradley knows it. I hear you. Stella says it. Everybody's saying it. Evie knows it. It's your favorite color. It's my Beckett's favorite color, too. Blue glue. You're right. Blue glue. They both have that ooh sound. Say it with me. Say blue glue. Wow, we have one more. Which word might I have that rhymes with sun? Hmm, can you guess what's on my picture? What do you think that the little mouse is holding? Sun. Hmm, what rhymes with sun? I'll give you a clue. <gasps> sun run. Does that rhyme? They both have the un sound. Say it. Say sun run. Yes, you did it. We made six pairs of rhyming words. I'm going to say them and then you echo back like an echo. I'll say it and then you repeat. Ready? Cat, hat. Your turn. Good. The next one is dog, frog. Your turn. Good. Say sun, run. Good. The next one is fox, box. Your turn. Good. The next one is car, star. Your turn. You know them. And the last one is blue, glue. You say it. Yes, you made all those rhyming pairs. When we rhyme, we have to listen to the end of the word. Not the beginning, we have to listen to the end, and you did it. Two kisses for your brain. Woo-woo, brain, that was so smart. I'm proud of you. We have a really good book to read today. Our book today, you got all those rhymes. I can see all of you, and I can hear you saying them. Good job. Rhyming is hard, and you're doing a really good job with it this week. Our new book is called Hickory Dickory Doc. The author is the same as the illustrator, so the person who wrote the words also did the pictures, and his name is Keith Baker. In this story, the mouse runs up the clock, but then lots of other funny things happen with animals and this clock. Watch to see how much fun they all have running up and down the clock. Are you ready? It's called Hickory Dickory Doc by Keith Baker. This is the title page. It just has the title again. And do you see the little mouse? Here he comes. Hickory Dickory Doc. The mouse ran up the clock. Do you see him? The clock struck one. It's time for fun. Hickory Dickory Doc. Do you see the next animal that's coming along? Hickory Dickory Doc. A bird sang to the clock. 
The clock struck two. See how the hour hand is pointing to the two? Away she flew. Hickory dickory dock. Look what time it is now. Three, three o'clock, yep. Hickory dickory dock. A snake wrapped round the clock. See? The clock struck three. He took the key. Hickory dickory dock. Good. The next one is four. Do you see the rabbit? And this one, the rabbit is not actually a rabbit. It's a hare, a different kind of rabbit. It goes like this. Hickory dickory dock. A hare hopped over the clock. The clock struck four. Look at the silly mouse. He's like, whoa, where'd you come from? <laughs> he hopped some more. Hickory dickory dock. Now look, the mouse is in a little plane. And do you see all the bees buzzing around? That's what's going to happen at 5 o'clock. Here goes. Hickory dickory dock. Some bees buzzed round the clock. The clock struck 5. Back to their hive. Hickory dickory dock. Which animals are next? Do you see all the hens with their little chicks? Does that remind you of anything? Hickory dickory dock, some hens pecked at the clock. The clock struck six. They chased their chicks. Hickory dickory dock. Now there's a big pig. Do you see that at seven o'clock? Hickory dickory dock, a pig oinked at the clock. Seven was struck. And look, the little mouse is taking a bath. Seven was struck, he rolled and muck, hickory dickory dock. Who's coming next? Can you tell me what you see? Yes, it's a goat. Hickory dickory dock, a billy goat kicked the clock. The clock struck eight. He broke the gate. Hickory dickory dock. Which animal is next? Can you see it? Hmm going on down there? The mouse has a magnifying glass. He's trying to figure out what happened to the bottom of the clock. It says, hickory dickory dock. Someone nibbled the clock. The clock struck nine. <gasps> a porcupine. Hickory dickory dock. He must have been chewing on the bottom of the clock. Hickory dickory dock. A bear stopped by the clock. The clock struck 10. Look, he's trying to reach way up there. The mouse is giving him some honey. Off to her den, hickory dickory dock. And who's coming at 11? Do you see it? Yes, a horse. Hickory dickory dock. A horse grazed near the clock. 11 was struck. She kicked and bucked, hickory dickory dock. And now who's coming out? The moon, you're right. Hickory dickory dock, the moon shone on the clock. 12 o'clock, midnight, little mouse. Good night. Yes, it's the middle of the night. He says, go to bed, little mouse. Hickory, see the word? Hickory. Dickory, dock, and the mouse went back to his little house, his little box house. The end. Isn't that a cute book about all of the animals that are playing around the clock, not just the mouse? I love that story. It's a good one and it has lots of rhyming words in it. I have a project for you to do when you get home after virtual preschool today, when you've got some time after virtual preschool. And this project is a circle project. So the front of the clock is always the shape of a circle. It goes around and around like a circle. So I thought you might like to paint some circles. Circles are easy. All you need is a cup and some paint and some paper. If you don't have paint, you could trace the outside of the circle or you could use an ink pad if you have an ink pad and watch what you can do. You just dip the paint, dip the cup into the paint. Do you see how it's on the outside like that? And you can make a circle. 
look at that. I made a circle just like Hickory Dickory Dock's clock. Look again. I dip it in there and I can go. Whoop. I made another circle with a cup. Watch again. Lots of paint on the rim of the cup and then I can go like that. We could paint a whole circle picture. You could even use two colors of paint and maybe even a different sized cup. This is a cup out of my snack, my snack cabinet. And watch what happens when I put some paint on the edge. Can you see that yellow paint? I can make a bigger circle outside of the yellow or outside of the orange circle. Is that hard to see or can you see that one? Ready? I put some paint on the edge and go. Yes, I can make a whole circle painting just like the face of a clock. Do you see that? Do you think you could make a circle picture? I would love to see all of your circles. Maybe your grown up could take a picture of it and show it to me on the computer. I love to see your artwork. Well, boys and girls, it's just about time for us to say goodbye. Do you know we should call Betsy because this is her favorite part of the day when you all throw her some birdseed snack. Sometimes she has so much birdseed snack, she puts it away and makes birdseed soup later. That's true. Let's call Betsy on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Say, Betsy, come back. Here she comes. Hello, boys and girls. I love listening to that nursery rhyme. Did you? Yes, you could stand up and do the whole thing. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. That was so much fun. We're going to sing goodbye to you, and then you can throw Betsy some bird seed. It goes like this. Preschool time is over now, over now, over now. Preschool time is over now for another day. Wave goodbye to all of our friends, all of our friends, all of our friends. Wave goodbye to all of our friends. It's time to stay home and play. Hip, hip, hooray! Hold on one second, Betsy. Grown-ups, make sure you print your play pack. I sent a play pack to you on the computer. There's a link in the video description and you can print it out. It has six play ideas for every single day on the front. So this is the one for today. And on the inside, there are four pages with different activities, some quiet time activities that would be really good if your kiddo is four, five, six years old. They can practice writing their name. They can practice drawing some lines, counting, and writing numbers. So make sure you print your play pack. Friends, do you have a handful of bird seed? On the count of three, throw it to Betsy and she'll try to catch it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! That's a lot of bird seed today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She loves it. She's going to blow you a kiss. Here goes. Mm -hmm. Catch it. Stick it to your cheek. Put a little super glue so it stays all afternoon. And give yourself a big hug from Miss Jamie and Betsy. We will see you again tomorrow. Bye, friends.